as one season ends, a new one begins. What baffles me each year is how fast we transition from polar night to polar day here on Svalbard. February has barely any light and mostly blue hues. On the 8th of March, we say hello to the sun for the first time in the village. And then in the beginning of April, the dark nights are almost completely gone. As you can see, it doesn't get dark anymore. This is in the middle of the night. <laughs> it goes so quickly. But it's beautiful. It's very cold outside. But this is at 2 in the morning. And soon we have midnight sun. Even though we've had our fair share of dark days and nights during our three month long polar night, I know that I will miss the stars and the moon and the view of the world above. But each season has its beauty and now it's time for brighter days. We still have a bit of winter left and when spring comes around the corner, it fills our days with singing birds and whales in the fjords. On the 19th of April, the midnight sun will shine bright on the island and there will be no more sunsets until August, which is a little bit daunting. Endless daylight is quite rough on the body, and once again, it is easy to lose your circadian rhythm. But I will take what I learned from this polar night, which is to keep a good sleep schedule and that it is good to have a break from the extreme seasons. But now I want to take you to one of the most amazing places I've seen on Svalbard. We are going to step into the world inside a glacier, a window into the ice that has been there for thousands of years. This cave is located far away from Longyearbyen, in a place that is only accessible up until the beginning of March. And we managed to find it on the last day that you could drive in that area. You see, some areas become protected during winter, like the sea ice on certain fjords and other valleys. This is to protect the wildlife from being disturbed. A very good rule to keep our impact on the environment we live in controlled. So wow. Lynn, yes. this place is incredible. I have never, I don't think I've seen anything like this. I don't think so either. <laughs> this is probably the biggest and most beautiful ice cave I've seen on Svalbard. Yeah. And this is the last day you can visit. So Lynn got the intel and got us here. The secret yes. tracks to this place. I love also that people keep these secrets. Like it's, you know, you can't tell anybody. <laughs> the ice caves are always secrets. But it's gorgeous. We're just walking around, taking so many photos, taking so many videos. It's minus 25, I think, here. 
minus 25 degrees, I think, but there's no wind. So in here, we're kind of protected from everything and we can just hear our footsteps kind of echo in the ice walls. It's unreal. Look at that. Look. It's an ice tunnel. It doesn't look like many people have been here this year. Yeah, there's like footsteps from the people we know that were here like yesterday. And then there's no more footsteps. Incredible. Steps are echoing. Glaciers on Svalbard produce meltwater during the warm season and during periods of mild weather and rain in the winter. And when the meltwater runs off, it will create meltwater channels on the surface and meltwater caves inside the glacier. In the winter, these channels will fall dry and thus form glacier caves. Svalbard's cold climate means that its glaciers are solid and frozen to the ground. This allows for us to be able to explore these caves somewhat safely and experience the unique ice caves that contain plants and materials that froze into the glacial ice as it had formed. You always do need to assess the safety of these caves before going into one though. This is just a quick commercial break. I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by NordVPN. So I just wanna say a huge thank you to NordVPN and all of you guys watching. It's because of sponsors and you guys that I can keep making all of these videos. So that was just exciting. And I've been working with NordVPN now for quite a long time and I really love their service. As you know, I'm Swedish, so I live in Norway, which means that I can't access like my shows back home or you know all of these swedish sites with entertainment so if i just log on to nordvpn and i switch and i say that i'm in sweden my computer thinks i'm in sweden and that's how a vpn works so then i can access all of my shows and everything that i want to watch from sweden which is great what i love with nordvpn is that it has super fast servers there's no data logging and it unlocks entertainment websites like netflix because you might not know that netflix is different around the world so there's a different variety of shows that you can watch so it's a great way to be able to access other netflix maybe in america and see what you guys have so go to nordvpn.com cecilia to get that two-year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount it's risk-free with nordvpn's 30-day money-back guarantee 
And thank you again to NordVPN. I love you guys. Um, let's head back to the rest of the video. <laughs> Good morning. It's 10.32 and I literally just got up because I have to go and get my nails done, thankfully. I have done what you should never do, which is peel off the, the acrylic and that's not good for your nails. So she's gonna be so mad at me, like, what have you done? But I don't know, they look fine though. They are a nice length and they look like they're gonna be okay. And I don't know what I'm doing today. I might be doing some glitter or I might do pink or I might do a cutter everything but first I'm gonna bring myself a coffee I have to be there in 27 minutes which is you know in Svalbard time like plenty of time because I only have the short drive but we're gonna bring a coffee with us and I'm gonna bring you guys with us or with me so we can just see where I get my nails done and see Ekaterina and the weather today is wow it it's so beautiful it is minus 16 degrees though and i think it's minus 20 degrees in the village so it's cold but now i have to take off my pajamas <laughs> let's go we need shoes it's cold we're taking these is that the right foot i'm ready to go let's go and get my nails done my favorite shoes mook looks we have now 15 minutes to get there, and I feel like that is just the right amount of time. I haven't had any breakfast. Should I bring something? Hmm, no. Should I? Maybe a protein bar? Wow. What a beautiful day. It is crispy. That is crazy. Ooh. Oh no, I think I'm gonna sneeze because it's so cold in my nose. Ooh. Look at my nails. I absolutely love them. Pink French tips. It's just what I wanted. Hey! Hey, Minkosis! Oi, what do you want to to see in me? Titta ihop naglarna. Kolla. Det kommer fina. Oh, tack. Men du har haft det bra. Men du har haft det bra. Varför luktar det korv här typ? Wow. Hej gullis. Hey gullies, did you go sit? Did you just lay in there? Oh, you're so thin. Do you want a hug? Hi. Oh, so go sit all day, though. 
Thank you so much for being here and for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see some behind the scenes footage and more content from us, make sure to head to my Patreon. We have monthly Cooking with Christopher episodes and recipe cards and lots of fun things planned going forward. The link to my Patreon is in my bio. So I hope to see you there. Bye.